Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. We're about to hit some Fleetwood Mac, and we are not going to listen to Lindsey Buckingham or Stevie Nicks. No, sir. We are going to listen to the early Fleetwood Mac stuff, the band founded and started by Peter Green, the guitar legend himself. We're going to do right now, we're going to do part one and part two of what is probably the most well-known song from that time period of Fleetwood Mac. Now, Fleetwood Mac started off as a blues band inspired by um, the grouping of Peter Green, John McVie, and um, Mick Fleetwood when they were playing with John Mayall. And um, so we're going to do the song, Oh Well, part one and part two. You will have heard this lick before by other guitar players. Many people have covered it. It is a killer lick. And so without further ado, here is part one and part two of the song, Oh Well. About the shape I'm in, I can't sing, I ain't pretty, and my legs are thin. But don't ask me what I think of you, I might not give the answer that you want me to. Talk to God, I knew he'd understand. He said, stick by me and I'll be your guiding hand. But don't ask me what I think of you. I might not give the answer that you want me to.
Wow, what an epic recording. Every time I hear the second half of that, the part two, I think to myself, is this a cross between some kind, some kind of martial arts stare down in a movie, you know, with the with the pan flute that's going on in there, kind of creating that sort of Kill Bill, you know, uh, Tarantino kind of vibe to it. And then the second half of the second part comes in and that just big dominant classical guitar thing happens. And I'm like, oh, wait a second. It's more like a Clint Eastwood standoff, like the good, the bad and the ugly or fistful of dollars or hang them high or any of those. It's just it's like, oh, my God, we got the gunfight. It's about to happen. Oh, what are we going to do? And it just has such a tension to it that is just marvelous. And yet, you know, this album was originally recorded in, I think, 60, I want to say 68 to 72, somewhere in that time period. And I I, I know you traditional Fleetwood Mac fans out there who love Stevie Nicks and Christy McVie and Lindsey Buckingham's writing, and you want to hear the song, you know, Chain, and and you want to hear, you know, um, all of the hits if you will, you're going to be like, oh, what were they doing? Oh, no wonder why they weren't as big as that. Again, this is a different vibe, a different era with a different inspiration to it. But to me, it is all very much every bit as powerful and strong as um, the pop stuff, if you will. Um, It's just a different vibe and a different influence. So it is what it is. With that said, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Know that I appreciate you and I wish you all well. Take care.